Hello lovelies, my name is Tarina. This is Wake Up With Me, where I'll be taking you through a little bit of a punchy flow today. We'll be getting into some stretches, maybe even a few balances will be thrown in there to get us up and ready to start our day. You might wanna have a couple of blocks nearby, just in case. And then when you're ready, I will meet you at the top of the mat in your Tadasana. So jump in straight in today with our Tadasana. Bring the feet hip distance apart so you have a little bit of space between each of the feet today. Really ground down through the feet, release the hands to either side of the body. Let's jump in, inhale, reach those hands up overhead. Have a big stretch throughout the whole body, maybe even come up onto the tiptoes, maybe even let out a little bit of a yawn. <laughs> then release down if you was on your tiptoes. Let's have a bit of a wiggle, maybe you want to just um, twist the spine a little bit to release any tension you're built up in the back throughout the night. Maybe you want to shake out the hands and the legs. Bring a bit of energy into the body before we move on properly with the class. Really nice. So then once you've done with waking the body up, bring the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers. Let's take some standing cat cows today. So on your inhale, puff the chest up and forward, pull the elbows backwards, gaze comes up slightly. Exhale, imagine someone's punched you in the stomach, really curve everything down. Maybe have a gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, curve everything in and under. Maybe even get the elbows involved, bring them closer together. Inhale, maybe open them up. Exhale, really pull that belly button back. One more, inhale, push that chest as far forward as you can. Exhale, curl everything in. Really nice, release the hands from behind the head, find your Tadasana again, and then slowly start to shift your weight over towards that right foot. Start to hug the left leg in towards the body. Once you've lifted it as high as you can, use the hands to guide it a little bit higher. And let's rotate the ankle. Go wherever way is comfortable with you first. We're gonna do both. Really grounding down in that right foot. Balancing in the morning is always a little bit challenging as we find our bearing. So take this opportunity now to start to find your center of gravity, to find that lift in the supporting leg, and maybe that little lift in the perineum area, pelvic floor for our ladies. Last breath. Nice, drop the knee down towards the floor, keep the foot off the floor, grab the ankle behind the back, Stretching out the quad and the hip flexor. Try to keep both knees in line with each other. Squeeze the bum. See if you can start to gently push the hips towards the top of the mat. Last breath. Now we're definitely gonna be balancing for a bit longer now. So as you release that back foot, start to push the foot away from you. Hands come to heart center. We're in our warrior three. We're really making the brain wake up now. And then gently start to open up the hip towards the ceiling, finding our half moon. Maybe the hands follow, left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Option to place a block in the front. So you can rest a hand on the block. Last breath. Gently start to bend that right leg so you can place the left leg at the bottom of the mat. Maybe shuffle the feet around so you can sink into a deep warrior two first. Then release the left hand down the back leg. Reach the right hand up and over into a reverse warrior. Keep sinking into that front leg. Hold in here for two. We're really waking the body up now. For one. Then come back through a warrior two first. Flip that front palm. Rest the forearm on the thigh. Reach the left hand up and over. Extended side angle pose. Option to stay here, otherwise you can bring the right hand to the inside of that right foot. Option to place a block there if you need the floor a little bit higher. Let's take some circles with the hands. Inhale, bring it down and under. Exhale, opening up the chest. Really nice. Inhale. 
Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Nice. When you're ready, frame that front foot slightly. Gently move the block out the way if you was using one. And then just step that back foot to meet the right at the top of the mat. Slowly coming up through the spine. Let's do that on the opposite side. So shift the weight over towards the left foot this time, hugging that right foot into the body. Give it another squeeze with the hands. Start to rotate the ankle. You haven't gone the other way yet? Maybe just swap around, even out the leg. Remember when we're going to be on this supporting leg for a while, so really start to think about lifting out of it. Take a bit more of that weight into the core and the rest of the body. Last breath. Gently drop that knee down towards the floor. Start to hug the heel behind you so you can grab hold of the foot or the ankle. Again, trying to get the knees in line if you can. And gently start to push the hips forward. One more breath. Here comes the fun part. Start to release that foot out of the hand. Encourage it towards the back of the mat. Still lifted, hands are at heart center. Really lift with that right knee. And then see if you can slowly start to open up that right leg, stuck in the right hip on the left. Maybe you start to open up the right hand. Again, option to take a block in front of you. I always encourage wobbling, wobble around as much as you need to, especially as this is a morning practice. Let go of ego, ego. enjoy this practice. Last breath. Really nice, gently start to release that back foot to the back of the mat so we can find our nice deep warrior two. Take the time to shuffle the feet around to allow you to do so. Then glide that right hand down the back leg. Left hand reaches up and over. Reverse warrior. For three. For two. And one. Let's come back to our warrior two. Let's flip that front palm, rest of the forearm on the thigh. Right hand reaches up and over. Option to stay here or if you've done so on the other side, place that left hand towards the mat. If you use the block, place a block. Reach the right hand up. When you're ready, inhale, bring that hand down and under. Exhale, open up the chest. Inhale, bringing it down. Exhale, open. Last one. And open. Really nice. When you're ready, frame that front foot. If you use the block, move it out the way. Then when you're ready, step the right foot to meet the left at the top of the mat. Really nice. Have a big stretch all the way up over the head. Exhale, gently fold over the legs, grab hold of each elbow, find a ragdoll. And exaggerate the swinging from side to side this morning. Releasing all of that compression that you built up in your sleep from the spine. Option to rock up and down instead of side to side. Last breath of whatever you're doing. Nice, and then shuffle the feet so that they're hip distance if they're not already. Sink down into the bum, into the legs. Reach the arms up overhead into this slightly modified chair pose. Hold in here for three, for two, and one. And then slowly start to come up onto the tiptoes as high as you can. Squeeze everything. Start to bend the legs so you're sitting on the heels. Keep the toes nice and lifted. Hold in here. Two more. Last one. Nice. Bring the hands so that they're parallel to the floor. Flip the palms. Slow. Oh, <laughs> have a wobble around. Slowly start to lower the heels down towards the floor to allow the bum to slowly start to reach the floor. And then once you have, lift the legs up. We're in our boat pose. Hold in here for four. For three. For two. 
and hug really nice release the soles of the feet to the floor give yourself a big hug maybe tuck the chin towards the chest have a rock from side to side once you're ready have a nice seated cross-legged position taking a little twist inhale reach those hands up overhead exhale twist over towards the right side right hand comes behind you and then we're going to have a bit more fun here with this twist so take an inhale here exhale use a little momentum to twist to the opposite side inhale exhale twist to the right inhale exhale twist to the left last one each side and left. and this time forget about the inhales and exhales just twist the body back and forth again just getting into the middle and upper back now releasing some of that compression just finding a bit more oil in the joints in between the vertebrae allow the arms to swing one last breath really nice return the back to neutral when you're ready move any blocks or props you have out of the way roll over the shins and why not let's take a vinyasa step back we'll take a modified one into your plank lower the knees down the rest of the body follows hug those elbows in squeeze them for me inhale pull the chest baby cobra exhale roll back tuck the toes under push the hips up and back down dog and then take an inhale bend the knees look forward jump through or just cross the legs Come back to a nice seated position. Once you have, slowly start to walk those hands out in front of you, opening up those hips. Stretching out some of those muscles that was gripping while we was in some of those balancing poses. So really allow yourself to relax now. Feel those muscles release. Slow the breath down, slow down the heart rate. Maybe even let out a few sighs out of the mouth. When you're ready, walk those hands back into center. Let's swap the legs over to even up the body. So whatever leg was in front last time, just pop it back so the opposite one is. This might feel really uncomfortable because we're not usually sitting on the side that doesn't feel right when we're in our cross-legged position. Today we are. So walk those hands out if you haven't already. Slow the breath down even more. a couple more breaths here and then gently walk those hands back in to center really nice bring the soles of the feet flat on the floor find your sit bones we're going to take a boat pose to finish the practice because why not hold in here for four squeeze the thighs and the chest together for three for two and one really nice well done hopefully you're nice and awake now ready to start your day if you want to come into a shavasana or any other last minute relaxing pose maybe in the seated position taking a few breaths to really finish your practice before getting on with your day absolutely fine otherwise i shall see you on the mat again soon thank you so much for joining me